Good morning. Good morning, guys. Aren't we looking fresh and chipper and healthy? I'm feeling a lot more human today. I feel weak and just a little achy, but my fever is down and I sweat so much. Last night, I woke up and I was in a puddle of sweat and so I guess my fever just kept dropping. So I moved over and I was in a puddle, woke up, was in a puddle of sweat. So I moved over again as close as I could to Mary, woke up and I was in a puddle of sweat. Harry, what are you doing? Um, we just gave Harry a bath. Yeah. Anyways, and then I put clothes on because there was nowhere else for me to go. Yeah. We both just fell asleep on the couches downstairs and then came upstairs and gave Harry a bath. And now, as you can see, we're all back in bed. This is no joke. Mary's fever still kicking today. It's not as high as it was, yeah. but it's not a low grade. Yeah. So, just keep on pushing. Yeah. <coughs> I just finished my vest, and I was so excited to lay back down. He found my cracker. That's my cracker. That's my cracker. That's my cracker. It's been really interesting. Harry's really only wanted, mostly only wanted to snuggle with Peter the last week because I'm coughing so much. And he's not really used to me coughing a lot. But it was interesting because I started coughing like a couple weeks after we got him. Like I got a cold. And he wasn't bothered by it at all. So I don't know if this is just different or if he's just been in the Peter snuggle mood. I don't know. But I guess he wants my cracker. Alright guys. I have had a better day today. My fever, or my temperature stayed in like 99 to 99.9, hasn't gone over 100 today. So I feel like that's a good sign. And I mean, not having fever spiking like it has every day this week is just amazing. Um, I did, Mary pretty much slept all day and I, laid down and slept in the bed for a little bit this afternoon and I don't know I was like sweating like crazy just like last night so took a shower got dressed and have just been uh, trying to take it easy but I haven't pretty much since I got sick haven't had much of an appetite for anything a couple of mornings um, I'd wake up and be like, oh, I'm feeling good, and I'd have a bowl of cereal and try to drink coffee, and coffee, like, you guys know I love coffee, and I just couldn't drink my coffee. Cereal went down okay, didn't taste great, and so I haven't had an appetite, and today I'm like, I need to, like, I'm feeling better than I was, I need to eat something, so... I thought rice sounded good, and Mary had some frozen uh, chicken stock, um, like bone broth that she had made and frozen. She she had, you know, Mary goes on her like soup sprees where she like makes much soup. She had a bunch of those in the freezer, so I popped uh, a bag of that into this pot, put some rice. And so the rice is, um, I'm making the rice in the chicken stock. And I added some celery and onion and carrots. So it's kind of like rice soup, but I added enough rice that it's 
for some reason soup doesn't sound good to me, but rice does. So I'm gonna give that a try. It's not that I'm really like sick, um, like GI wise, but nothing really sounds good. So that's what's going on. Okay, here's your dinner. Come on. I'll put it right here next to your toilet. And Ollie has been a trooper this whole week. Spending time in bed with us and going out whenever we're able. Alright, here's what I got. We'll see how it goes down. Oh, hey there guys. I forgot about you. How you doing, sweetie? <coughs> There's how her lungs are, <coughs> but her fever is down a bit, and that's good. So we're hoping for an uneventful night, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. <laughs>